Hi everyone, just a quick update on some of the stuff that AWA is up to lately. First and foremost, I do want to thank the AWA volunteers and supporters. Um, the reality is without you guys, there is no AWA. And the amount of dedication, passion, talent, energy, etc. that you bring to the table is truly inspiring. Uh, so from all of AWA, I would like to thank all of AWA. Thank you. As you may know, uh, AWA has teamed up with SNAP, um, sharing information, um, learning from each other, uh, networking, uh, etc. Janet Heimlich, who heads up childfriendlyfaith.org, is having a conference in Austin, Texas. It will be held in November, and AWA will be there, uh, making more connections, uh, sharing more information, and uh, learning more things. So it is very exciting. And if you happen to be in the area, check it out. I'll be putting links below for all the stuff that I'm talking about. Um, so check it out. And uh, it's exciting. It is exciting. We also have a new team that has developed um, it, data entry. Data. We're collecting data. Um, thanks to one individual in particular who's just been extremely tenacious about sending press releases to the various cities where Watchtower conventions are held um, and the, the local news sources that tend to report on those conventions. Um, so he has been, he's got a team together now and they've been collecting uh, the information of worldwide, the cities where conventions are held and the local medias in those cities that tend to report on Watchtower conventions, um, sending out press releases. We have actually seen some positive feedback. I'll put the link below. And so we're really excited to see where this can go. And uh, so thanks. That's a, It's a great team that started. They've been working very, very hard, and I do mean very hard, in gathering this information. Um, so it'll be exciting to see where this goes. Um, we so anyone that is interested in telling their story that may not want to officially volunteer for AWA, we would love to be able to help you do that. Uh, we do have a team of re really talented writers that we can put you in contact with and help you put your story together uh, and get it out there. Um, especially if you're a former elder, circuit overseer, or other former, ma former management, and specifically if you have uh, any experience regarding the pedophilia issue, uh, we would love to be able to help you tell your story and uh, you know share what it's really like behind those closed doors. Um, so please get in contact us through with us through awa.co. I will also put my Facebook link uh, down below. So if you want to contact me directly, I will put you in contact with our writing department, our writing team, and. Uh, help you get your story out there. Um, so please think about it and uh, see if it's something that you want to do because we would love to hear from you. So we are always looking for volunteers. Um, some of the volunteers that, some of the skills that we are looking for um, specifically are data processing, writers, translators, graphic, graphic artists, video editors, researchers, effective speakers, those who understand management systems, anybody with a legal background, um, and those with WordPress skills. Um, but even if you don't have any of those specific skill sets, you might have a hidden talent that you, you may not even be aware of that we can put to good use. Um, so please uh, feel free to volunteer. Um, and if you haven't lately, check out our website, awa.co, A-A-W-A dot C-O. Um, we have been making some updates to it uh, to make it a little easier to search and uh, find the information a um, little more user-friendly. Um, we also have celebrated six months of being in existence and we have a plan of action for the next six months. So you can see some of the things that we're up to um, and looking for. So you might find something that, that you know, strikes your fancy uh, there as well. Um, so anyway, that's just a quick update on some of the things that are going on, and uh, I will talk to you all later. Bye.